Did a good enough smile for you? Yeah. Okay. All right, welcome to At The Crib Cooking. All right, today what we're gonna do for y'all is a chicken pot pie. Pretty easy. What I did was I pre-cooked two chicken breasts. And they cook for about 45 to 50 minutes. And I put in, um, let's see, some Mrs. Dash, some salt and some pepper, and a little bit of seasoned salt. And I also put in four cups of water. And I just let that cook down. I'm going to also use this for the vegetables, so I'm going to keep that. So I cut it back down so I can use it for later. So, for my ingredients, I also have two bags of mixed vegetables. For each bag, and for each can, makes a pie, if that makes sense. Before we get started. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to take as usual, mix our vegetables. Because why? Because why? Huh? Because we don't like what? We don't, we don't like soggy, watery vegetables. If you want to get a man, you better get some tips, okay? Okay. That's what you better do. Because you got a lot of men, don't you? Take your vegetables out. You're just staring at me again, aren't you? You need a hobby. Something else to do. Now you also want to go ahead and preheat your oven. Your bake time is 350. Or your bake temp rather is 350. Whatever. If you miss them frozen, go ahead and just let the cold water run on them for a second. Tell me when to stop, Queen. Tell me when to stop. Anytime. Is it ready now? I mean, I don't know. You're the one who likes long vegetable shaking time. Okay. Anyway. Go ahead. I think that was a reasonable amount. So you take and you use a plastic spoon. You don't use the metal on metal. You use the plastic or a wooden one. So. You put your vegetable in here. You don't want them in here a long time. You just want them to get the flavor of the broth of the chicken and just to soften up a little bit because you're going to bake them so you don't want them too mushy. You cut them up a little bit, bring them to a nice simmer. Let them simmer for about three to five minutes. You don't want them to simmer too long. Fix. As soon as the chicken and the vegetables come up to a boil, you go ahead and cut it off. Like I said, you just want the flavor to get in. Plus, you can also use some of this broth and with the pie. You fire right now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're corny right now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that was a good joke. I don't see how. I'm being fire right now. Because of the smoke, you know? But it's steam. But it looked like smoke. It looked like smoke. I about burnt myself listening to that shit you're talking about. Okay, awkward. So you take your vegetables, go ahead and dump them in the bowl. And you get your cans. It's two cans of cream of chicken. I meant to mention that earlier, but I forgot. My bad. Whatever. 
No can opening necessary. You can't use one anyway, so it don't matter. Why would you use a can opener if you could just pull the top off? Cut to last video when you couldn't use the can opener. That's what I meant. They didn't, a lot of people didn't understand it or see that, so why would you cut it out? Now they know. Go and watch the last video, and you'll see. He couldn't use the can opener. So, add the two cans of cream chicken. I said if you were just cooking one pie, you would only use one can. After you get your two cans out, let it stir them in. As you stir it in, break up the chicken. You don't want to break the chicken up as fine as you would as in the gumbo. Cause you kind of want chunks in your sweet, sweet potato pie. <laughs> Wrong recipe, my bad. In your chicken pot pie. Then you take a half a cup of chicken broth. Like I said, this will make two pies. So if you got some real hungry, I don't want to share, I don't want to think about nobody else people in the house. Hopefully, two pies will be able to make it through your household. salt and pepper to it to taste remember it's better to add because you can't take it away so if it's not tasting what you want it to taste like you can always add some more but don't over season it if you got that good in the mix go ahead and start working on your pot crust so this is the easiest way I've come to learn how to do these pipe crusts. So you take one, take two, I guess. You go ahead and take half your filling. He was being stingy. You gotta share. Share with everybody. You just keep breathing real weird like. So you get them good and flat. Take the other crust. Take it here. And peel it out the pan like such. Damn it. I can fix that though. It's not a problem. Mm -hmm. I can fix that. It gives it an effect. You know what I'm saying? So I fucking hate. On my creation. Hot damn it. Then you take it out, match up the edges. 
see you got this overland part which is okay since he took a casualty in the middle but it's okay because he's so still edible and he's still gonna go down the same so it don't matter it don't matter at all right now just take the excess crust off with a butter knife You have been dough smacked? You have been dough smacked? Mm -hmm. Okay. That tastes funny. Who eats raw dough? See, damn it, talking to you, I done messed up the crust. I wish you quit talking to me while you want to sit and choose to eat fucking raw dough. Who eats raw dough? It don't taste good, I'll tell you that. Well, why would you choose to eat it? You gotta try new things, dude. Alright. That one came out a little better. Jeez. Mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, it would taste good, you know? Why would you think a dough would taste good? It's just dough. It's not meant to taste anything. It's just dough. It's not a ground cracker crust or none of that. It's just dough. But you thought it would taste good. Sometimes dough tastes good. Yeah, when it's cooked. I swear I think he was adopted. Come back. You can't stop. Wait. Come on. It's the good part. Oh, see, I had good cuts going. You see how clean I cleaned it up? Don't be like that. I'm sorry. You're not adopted. You just act like it. No. Come on. Get the edges. See how I'm doing it? Boom. It is coming off. Boom. Look perfect. Almost. Boom. That's also why you should make two because the first one looks janky. Right? But you can't make one. You better get a man. You better learn how to cook to get a man rather. Because cheesy noodles ain't going to cut it, I tell you that. My cheesy noodles are great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't have to look pretty to be great. But that's the only thing you can cook so it don't have to be great. I you need cook. assortment. You know what I'm saying? I can cook baked spaghetti. Yeah, we'll see about that one day. Anyway, is the oven ready? Yeah. Okay, this is what you want it to kind of look like, pretty much, instead of that. You want this more so than that. Then if I knew how to do something articulate or cute or whatever, I would cut some design in it, but I'm not that fancy yet, so. No, I'm he just... ain't. <laughs> mm. Go ahead and put these in. I don't remember the cook time, so we're just gonna watch them till they brown. Okay, that's not hot. I just burnt every fucking pound on my lip. All right. Okay, so we put the pies in for about an hour. It'll probably vary depending on your oven. So, uh, I hope everybody out there is doing okay, you know. I had to make my appearance, you know, because I know everybody loves the light skin. Make sure you subscribe, you know. Bullshit. I'm ready to try this pie. Zyke. Okay, most of it came out. Best pie, chicken pot pie, ever. Ever. It's your boy Donnie. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, cut it off now.